So we've got these pieces stuck together. We have most of the pieces already laid out in Inventor for our assembly file that we need, but we're going to be needing to add a couple more along the way. And also the PVC pipe lengths that we have, we need to be able to create new ones to fit our design. So you should know by now how to make a PVC pipe of a certain length. So let's make a new one right here. Your drawing should have some rough dimensions on it. So this one, let's just call this 18 inches right here. So to create a new pipe, remember go to File, New, Part. Start a sketch. Pick a plane, circle. Click and let go. Inner diameter is 0.8. Click and let go. Outer diameter is 1.05. Enter. And we wanted it at, what did we say, 18. So hit the extrude button. Click the inside of your circle right here. Let's call this 18 inches. So that's our piece. We're going to save that. File, save as. Find your H drive folder with your water blasters. You see pipe, 18 inches, save. So now we go back to our assembly. We're going to place that pipe we just created and click, right click, okay. Okay, so I want to insert this one in here. So again, same way we're inserting everything, constrain, insert, Click on one, click on the other. Now you see I missed that right there. I clicked on the wrong spot, so I can just hit cancel if that happens. I want to be able to see both ends of what I'm inserting. Constrain, insert, click, click. There we go, that looks good. Hit apply. Now if you look at the drawing, Right here, it looks like that should be a T, but if you made it a T, the air would end up to, and water would end up going in one side, and it wouldn't necessarily go straight. A lot of it would go down through that bottom hole right there. So in the lab, instead of a T right there, we can end up making something else for the handle, but this is just going to be a straight piece of pipe right here. So we have an elbow right here that we need to add on to. So, constrain, insert, click, click, and look at that, that adds nicely. Now when it comes to adding the check valve, so we have a check valve here that goes up, check valve right here that goes from right to left. So our check valve, when we look at it, that's a threaded piece right there, so that is a male threaded adapter right there. So if we're going to be using a male threaded adapter, we also need to have a female threaded adapter. So we're going to our parts, we'll find that female adapter, open that, and one, two, three, let's just add four of them. We can always get rid of them later. So the way the female adapter works is on one side of it, you have your regular slip fit where the PVC pipe will go in and on the other side you have the threaded piece that the male piece is going to go into. So we need to add a, male, a female piece to right here. Now this won't connect directly to there so we need to put a piece of PVC pipe in between there to connect it. So we're going to constrain, insert, this short piece to right there, hit apply. This part right there, hit apply. So now I have this piece connected to that one. So now I can attach this threaded piece to there. Then another female piece to there, hit apply. That one out of the way. And then I need another one of these 
small pieces. If I, again, I can just click and drag it over here. If I just clicked on my piece, hold it down, drag it over. That's going to give me another copy of that piece. Shortcut for the constraining, instead of click up here, if I just right click, it brings up this little menu. The constrain button is also right here, so that's just another little shortcut. Constrain, insert, insert that, hit apply. So now I'm right here. This right here is a T. So let's grab my T, which I have right here. I still have constrain, insert, there and there, hit apply. So I've got another check valve right here. So again, to do the check valve, check valve has the male adapter, so I need the female adapter. And in order to get the female adapter, I need one of these pieces, a PVC pipe in between. don't need that one. So now I'm right here. So if you look at the whiteboard in the lab, the PVC pipe around the plunger should be at least 12 inches. So we're going to make a new pipe right here that is 12 inches long. So I create a new part. Start sketch, inner diameter 0.8, outer diameter 1.05. We're going to extrude that 12 inches. File, save as. PVC pipe 12 inches. So you see, that's how quick it is to make a brand new piece on here. So I'm going to place that. Right click, hit OK. All right. Constrain, insert, click, click, hit apply. And then we need to put the cap on there. Constrain, insert, piece one, piece two, hit apply. And again, we'll drill a hole in there when we're in the lab. So this is a very rough version of this. Now it looks a little bit weird because we used a very long piece right here. This piece is 2.75 inches. This one right here is almost nothing. So what we can do, if I want to shorten this one, if I right click it and I go to open, it's going to open up this part file just like you had it before. So what I want to do actually is I want to shorten this piece. So I'm going to right click on extrusion, go to edit feature, and instead of 2.75 inches, let's call that 0.5 inches. So we just made it very short. Hit OK. So now when I go back to my assembly, you see that 2.75 inch piece got cut off. It's now only half an inch. If I grab something, if I shake it around, it's going to re-update it. So now that looks a lot closer to what we had there. So when what it did is the computer just didn't update it automatically, so sometimes if you shake it, it will do that. So this looks closer to our drawing. Now, if you notice things kind of can spin around on you. If you don't want it to do that, what we can do, let's say this ball valve, we want to ground it. Because this stuff, I can click and drag it. If I right click on a piece, and go to grounded, now that piece is not going to move at all. I can't click and drag it. And because of that, 
you know, I can move things around. So this piece is not moving at all. These can all swing around if I need to. So if you wanted to make, you know, a piece come out to the side or something. Also, if I ground the ball valve, I can do this fancy. If I right click and hit flexible, uh, there we go. And use my ball valve. Isn't that neat? All right. So that is a rough layout. Don't worry about the plunger or the nozzle on it yet. You can if you want to, but you don't have to do that right now. So make sure you go to File and Save and save your assembly right here, right now. Save. And just hit OK.